This is Manchester's WMNH 95.3 FM. All right, we are back again, and we love... Uh, now, now, Jason Wallace is here. He's been here before on that couch. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Peter. Always nice to see you. You too. Thanks for having now, us. Now, you might you might know uh, Jason also from... Uh, now, you do some bartending over at... Can, yeah, thank yeah. you, Matt. Uh, you do some bartending over at the back room. I did. I did. A right. lot of good people. Uh, now, still, are you still doing that? Occasionally. Okay. When I'm in New Hampshire. More of a celebrity. Uh, yeah. You're like a celebrity <laughs> bartender. But if you wanted a drink, I'd say yes. Put me on. <laughs> yeah, very good. So last time you were here, you were you were promoting something uh, over at the uh, Angel City Music Hall. Yeah, we did a toy drive for the Hope New Hampshire. That's right, uh, yeah. which is great. I mean, I love yeah. that. That's, that's our, uh, uh, you know, our Matt, charity yeah. over here. Yeah. Uh, so what do you get now? You you are into everything. <laughs> you really are. Um, what's going on now? Now you're here. I, I, I looked at your thing. It's uh, in the healthcare industry, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, explain. Okay. Well, well, well we, let's introduce. We're helping people. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. introduce. Yeah. Uh, no, Zach? Yes, Zach. Yeah. All right. See, I did my homework. It's, uh, yes. <laughs> well done, sir. All right. I, know, I don't know your last name, but I know you're Zach. I'm Zach Lawson. <laughs> All right. Uh, very good. So, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, let's talk about this. Um, well, uh Give it over to the Zach for the explanation of where his part of this company came about. But we are helping people, and I think New Hampshire uh, needs to understand a little bit more of the realm of the healthcare industry and, and what's out there and what's available to them. So it's it can be confusing. It's I mean, very confusing. Going, uh, you know, you get your, you, I don't know, you look at your. It's hard to it's hard to figure out. It's hard to decipher some of those things. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're being charged for. Right. Um, there's laws that were passed that were supposed to make that easier to understand. Uh, Transparency Act being one of them, and it's still, uh, you know, you don't you don't know what you're being charged for, basically. So wow. uh, that's where we come into play. Okay, and uh, okay, yeah, go ahead, Zach. Tell yeah, us sure. It. I mean, so I think we're all pretty much all familiar with you know going going to the doctor. We know we know who our doctors are. Yeah, some except, except Kyle, except for Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know Kyle that well, but I'm just gonna go along with it. Uh, but yeah, I think the, from there, you know, if a doctor is going to prescribe you that you need to go, uh, get some lab work done or, uh, if it's an MRI or an X-ray or, um, you know, heaven forbid it's a surgery or something along those lines, um, you know, you, you wind up just going to the doctor. You just wind up going to that next level of care. You may be unaware of what it's going to cost. Um, but because it's been something that your, your trusted, uh, medical professional, medical, medical advisor has sort of recommended that you do. Um, you just go with it, and it uh, turns out pricing for that stuff is all over the place. I think we've, uh, we've heard about this. We've known about this for a number of years. Um, but uh, at Harlow, um, that's, that's, our, that's our, our company. At Harlow, we, we can help figure out that, you know, that, that twisted mess. We can uh, find out where the pricing is cheaper. We can help keep money in your pocket. Um, we work with employers. We work with health plans. We can actually put rewards in people's hands. Uh, for finding low-cost providers, and the thing of it is, this is not like a this is not new. This is something that we've actually right. been doing for quite some time. Um, but um, and and ultimately, the the idea of transparency and consumerism in healthcare has it's, been around. Like I said, it's so confusing. Yeah, and it's been around for a long time. And to your point, it it is still very confusing, right? And so very. you know, that's that's we're here to help. We've got some tech that does that. Um, but more importantly, we've got a bunch of nurses that are on the other end of a phone to help talk you through what you got to do. Okay, and yeah, help find that low-cost provider. Yeah, that that is great. So, if if I was to I'll say I needed a, a procedure done, I don't know some sort of uh, what a procedure, whatever it was, and you would help. Basically, I would come to you guys, or like you would find where I could get the best kind of the best deal. Yeah, is that, absolutely. Is that, okay. Yeah, good, really good example of this actually. Um, sort of in the southern part of the state here. Um, is like an MRI of a of a knee or mm -hmm. a joint or something right. like that, right? One million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, hopefully not. No, but I hope we never get there. But it, it, it's, I know, but it seems sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know. I was only in there for well, a second. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, so so the negotiated prices for those things, you know, can can be as expensive as six or seven thousand dollars, depending on yeah. whether you go to a hospital or where you go and get it done. Similarly, uh, the exact same procedure, not on a very similar machine, on a on a, right. on a similar resolution machine three to four hundred dollars in some places right and we don't know that people don't know that you know just out, out of the gate mm -hmm. we know that um so that that's thing one thing two is you know if your doctor says go to the hospital next door to get that mri done are you really going to question what your doctor is told you right, to do? right no, yeah, no you're never going to do that right no. so um that's where our our nursing staff and our team sort of help you know get you through that that piece as well to say no, it's cool. It's a three Tesla machine. It's down the road. It's you know, it's it's just as as good as the one that's sitting at the hospital. 
Um, if it's an open MRI that you need, you know, then then ultimately we can make that work as well. Um, we never go beyond or, or against the orders of physicians, of course. Yeah. But, you know, literally, if it's the same exact thing, we can What's save this, uh, right. thousands of dollars in some instances. On and why is it so much more expensive um, at, say, the Elliott Hospital or CMC? Well, this is a little bit beyond the scope of what I, I know, but I, I will say just from my, my opinion on this, um, it's because there hasn't been a market for this, right? I mean, mm -hmm. so in, in everything else being sort of market-based, um, if there is a demand for a particular service and a, a price that people are willing to pay for it, then, then, then that price follows suit. But where it's a blind item and people just wind up going where their doctors, you know, recommend that they go, that, that that's just down to the negotiations by proxy. Your your health right. your health insurance provider. That's is what I was going to ask you. Uh, that's what I was going to ask you next. Like why why not call the insurance? Mm -hmm. But you're saying the insurance companies have contracts with some of exactly absolutely okay yeah I get it yeah so you know we we, we work with a couple different um, um, uh, third party administrators pe people who pay for their own insurance but large employers who pay for their own and in, uh, insurance costs and uh, one really large uh, health plan and uh, or health insurer and yeah th that's right they they all have negotiated pricing with different providers and they're 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 different than than other carriers everybody's got a different price. Um, uh, but generally speaking, you know, we, we, we can tell you where the, the, the lower prices are for, is, for those providers. You know? That is great. And uh, does that have to do with just about anything like prescriptions? Uh, how does that Ooh, work? That's a really good question. So, um, you know, we don't have the data on prescriptions, uh, okay. but you know, this is, and this, this is beyond, again, beyond the scope of what we know. Um, same, same sort of rules apply in the prescription realm. That's not what we do. Okay. We work without patient procedures and diagnostic imaging, okay. uh, and laboratory type work. All right, all that, all nice. that fun stuff. In now, do you guys do special, like, because I know, like, even with me, with all my health issues, sometimes it's tough to find even someone to do an MRI on me. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a pacemaker, defibrillator, I've had strokes, all this. He has a PlayStation 3 yeah, inside Yeah, pretty him. much, but yeah, but, and they'll, I'll actually have to go into the hospital, they have to shut everything off, make sure, and I don't know why, but mm -hmm. it's a huge procedure. Yeah, that's actually... Um, uh, I don't want to say that's common, but that again, that's that's what we have our our, our nursing team to help sort of coordinate. You know, oh, so nice. it's a um, uh, I won't say that every place can handle those kinds of, of, of situations, but knowing that those are constraints, absolutely one hundred percent. That's that's what we help sort of make happen. That way, you don't have to navigate it on your own. Besides the general pain in the neck of actually calling a doctor's yeah. office and trying to get an appointment squared away, right? Right. Well, yeah. and that's the thing is, it's so hard. You and I know, you know, from experience, it is. It's difficult to navigate all this stuff. Yeah. Right. Right. Because they make it so hard. You've got pre auths You've got mm -hmm. your share. You know, and again, like you said, you know, and you like they have these contracts. Mm -hmm. So they want you to go to this hospital and pay this copay. Yep. Because yep. again, it works. You know, and a lot, especially now, I know a lot of physicians. Mm -hmm. Primary cares are actually based with CMC or oh, yeah, LEA yeah, you're or, right. Mm -hmm. So they're using these, but like Dartmouth, you know, they're using all their services. Mm -hmm. And trying kind of not to farm it out. Yeah, you know, it's it's a really great point, and I think that you know one of the things that we've learned uh, at Harlow doing this is that primary care physicians and primary care doctors, right, and even I should say specialists as well within sort of these greater hospital networks, um, it sort of se it may seem outwardly um, like they're directing you know within their own sort of network. Um, more often than not, the physicians and the primary care pro uh, providers. Uh, are not beholden to to those kinds of circumstances. Um, it's just that that's uh, well, maybe two things. That's the way it's kind of always been. You know, the closest MRI unit is right there, and, right. and that, that's where you know we're going to send everybody. We've always been sending in there. Um, and number two, it's it's convenience factor, right? Like, why would we make you drive down the road to go do this other thing? Right. You know, totally irrespective of price and out of pocket expenses. They don't know what health plan you're on once you go, you know, past the front right. desk, right? So Well, and yeah, and the other thing too with that, I think is uh, They just hope you have one. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you very much, right? Yeah. Right. But to it and it's and like you said the convenience of it. I know like my doctors and stuff where I use like the CMC, everything can be accessed from their computers. So mm -hmm. I don't have to bring anything with me. I just show up and they're <laughs> right. just like, "Okay, yep. good to go." Yep. And I know a lot of hospitals people think in this day and age mm -hmm. that they're linked but most hospitals and doctors aren't linked up. Right, right, so right, right. they've right. got to get all your medical records, and that mm -hmm. also takes more time. Now, do you guys help with that stuff? Like, Yeah, so it's a, that's another really great, great point. I think the the nature of the um, uh, sort of where we where we slot in, where, we, where our sweet spot is with procedures, right, um, we don't 
unfortunately have to deal with the transfer of, you know, huge volumes of medical records. Um, generally speaking, if you're dealing with diagnostic work, so laboratories and, and imaging <clears throat> and that kind of work, it's all, um, uh, you're taking the picture or you're getting the results of the lab work. And a lot of these, uh, particularly the lower cost providers, are accustomed to working with a variety of, of sources. So they, they're, they're, they're well connected for doing that sort of thing. The one area where, where um, you know, the, I will say this is relevant or it, it makes some sense is when we're talking about um, outpatient surgical type stuff, okay, right? Um, and again, there we, where we slot in is <clears throat> in working with, um, uh, colonoscopies are a great example of this, okay, right? Um, because they're routine. Um, or even uh, they're starting to do uh, outpatient surgeries for joint replacement now, which is, mm -hmm. which is another thing, right? Um, it's really common. We would all expect, okay, well, I'm going to go to the hospital, get that sort of a thing done. I'm going to mm -hmm. be there all day, right? You know, it's, it's a pretty big deal. Um, and you know the surgeon who's going to be performing the work, okay, right? We don't want to sit here and say, you know, uh, you know pump the brakes. Let's, let's get a new surgeon involved in this. Let's send you somewhere completely different with a new doc. Um, it actually turns out that a lot, of, a lot of physicians, a lot of providers can actually perform the same surgery like next door in another building, just a different brick-and-mortar place for a lot less money. And so, yeah, we're not, we're not dealing with the transfer of medical records. We're not dealing with, you know, the big, big overhead of records and all that other stuff. Same doctor, just a different facility, and again, they're just like I was saying with the imaging, they're they're really geared to sort of being an alternative location at a lower cost for specifically that kind of procedure. You know, so how does someone that wouldn't know? Because I don't think a lot of people know that mm. there's there's a service like yours. Mm -hmm. How do you get that out? I mean, I know <laughs> oh, you man. came in. I know <laughs> that's you, what we're doing. I, yeah, I, right. <laughs> I know you came in here today. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate that so much. But I, yeah, I, I think is it is it fairly something uh, that's new. To, to so, wow, that's this like the million dollar question, <laughs> maybe even literally for us. I, so um, even though I, I'm speaking towards the medical industry here, my, my background is really more on the, on the tech side of the equation. I, I work with the software. I work with the medical data. You know, I'm a, I'm a dork under the hood here. But, uh, so, you <laughs> know, ski patroller. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so Jason, uh, Jason is, is really more on the, on the front end of the equation and works a lot with our, uh, our employers and with our, our people and what we call engagement. But, you know, just kind of in a, in a nutshell here, you know, we, we provide a service for a whole host of, like, what we'll call self-insured employers, you know, all, all, all over the country. Um, you know, we, we got our start here in New England. Obviously, that's where we're based. Um, but we, um, we, we work with individual um, employers who are what will be considered self-funded. Uh, if you've got employers listening, they know what that means. Uh, employees may or may or may not know what that means it, on their insurance card that they get. You know, it'll yeah. say, you know, Harvard Pilgrim or it'll say HPI or in this area here, it could say Cigna or Aetna or any one of these other things. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to employers, they're self-funded. We work with them, the, their employers. Right. Okay, right. Um, similarly, we also work with Harvard Pilgrim uh, Healthcare, which is now Point Thirty Two Health. Okay, right. All over New England. Uh, we work with all of their insured members. So if you if you are an employer or if you're an employee who your employer has Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you can work with what's called the Reduce My Cost program. That's that's us under the hood. We're Harlow. Okay. So as as a 31 year old man who doesn't know how to do any of this, instead of calling my mom, I can just I can, <laughs> I can, I can ask you guys how to do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's a really it's good so idea. So much more emasculating that way. I appreciate <laughs> that. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can call our nurses. Uh, they're 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 probably a lot uh, a lot less harsh on you than your mom is, I would imagine. Um, a lot of them are mothers as well. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no. Truthfully, uh, calling you know calling our nurses is this is what, we could do this in an app. We we have a mobile app, um, but generally uh, we prefer that people are talking to our nurses to the people that are involved. It's an incredibly human sort of affair, right? So we want to make sure that there's that human touch. Um, your doctors are all obviously humans, right? Uh, our nurses are talking to your doctors. Our nurses are talking to other people that are helping schedule things. Like, it can't happen without people making it work. Right. That's amazing. So th how many people are involved? So we're we're about 20 people now. Okay. Um, which uh, Getting bigger? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It? Yeah. I mean, you know, with a lot of these, I, I have jokingly said over the last two or three years, we're like the, the oldest startup in the world. I mean, we've been... We've been doing this, believe it or not, since 2009, um, and we, yeah, we grew from roughly five or six people only three or four years ago to the 20 that we've got now. So, and as far as people that uh, have used your service, uh, the mm -hmm. good reviews, everyone's like, well, I couldn't have done it without you guys. I couldn't. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's really great. I think you know we we offer. I, I mentioned it earlier. We we offer rewards, so uh, we can we can administer these these rewards for employers and also through the Reduce My Cost program. 
Uh, if people go to a, a provider and save a bunch of money, um, sometimes they, they will give them a $50 reward. Sometimes we give them 20% of the savings, depending on the, on the wow. program. So, you know, a classic example is up in the North Country. There are MRIs up there that are over $10,000, right? Now, why is that? Uh, if, I mean, is there a reason? It's kind of the only game in town, right? Like, right. You know. Uh, it, Which it, doesn't seem fair. Well, right. But if you drive an hour and a half down to, to Portland, Maine, or in the Portland area from the North Country here, um, 800 bucks, 900 bucks for yeah. the MRI. So imagine if you're getting 20% of the savings from that as an employee, you know. <laughs> now, you work with all insurance covered. Even would it be, okay, let's say... Some people don't uh, uh, get their insurance through the Department of uh, Health and Human Services here in the state. Uh, so, yeah, we, we only work with Harvard Pilgrim on what we call the fully insured side of okay. the equation, right? So uh, if, you, um, if, you, if your employer has a plan through Harvard Pilgrim, we work with you. Okay. Uh, if, uh, if you have bought a plan on the healthcare exchange um, as an individual— uh, and it is sponsored by Harvard Pilgrim. We work with you, okay? Okay. Um, if you have a plan through an, your employer and they're a pretty good-sized employer, this is where it gets a little squirrely. <laughs> if you don't know that they're self-funded, right, yeah. okay, um, we may or may not work with you. Best thing to do is check with your, your human resources folks and determine okay. if you've got access to the Harlow program or the Reduce My Cost program. Okay, so now can someone just call you guys today and and, and – find out this i mean is, is so, that or, yeah or are you go or are you going through uh you know like someone an employer or an uh or do you working with it just individual if someone walked into the office and oh said, I yeah need, i need some damn help no no <laughs> uh we want to do that we are our, our, our goal in, okay. yeah, in the long run would be able to to help individuals but you know the 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 uh, okay. the health insurance sort of world uh is driven by uh benefits brokers and health insurance agents uh all over the country uh, so that's principally who we work with. So the you know the the chain of command, if you will, or the the way in which people get involved with us is, you talk with your your management, you talk with your HR department. Okay. Uh, they've already got a relationship, uh, hopefully a great one, with uh, somebody who's helping them buy their health insurance or helping them get their health insurance, and then they get in touch with us. All right, man, you got something? Yeah, I just had to say, like, and if you guys want more, a lot more info, I know I've been. Well, you guys have been talking. I've been paying attention, but I'm also on the website right now for Harlow Health. <clears throat> And it, it all the information you could ever need is on here about what they do, about the app, and it's actually one of the more informative websites I've seen, <laughs> so thank you for that. And there's a contact. You can schedule a call right here, mm -hmm. uh, contact one of the nurses, all that. And there's actually tabs that says for brokers, for TPAs, mm -hmm. uh, for members, for employers. Um, you know, we, we, we'd like to start the conversation. If, uh, if someone doesn't know what their plan is, um, yeah, maybe find out through the, the live chat or email yes. us. Right. Mm -hmm. You can right. email us at hey at harlowhealth.com. It seems they've got a blog, too. So, you know, I always find, well, I find that if you go yeah. through those things and read them a lot, yeah. you'll get the answers you're looking for instead yeah. of having to actually physically talk to somebody, you know. Yeah, yeah. You well, so like out. I said, it's, it's healthcare is just a confusing, I mean, I will look at something and then, Look, read like four sentences in. Like, all right, I'm yeah, gonna you're I've, been <laughs> I've been diagnosed from the chat room multiple times here, so like this is actually yeah, super beneficial. Depression, yeah, I got yuck mouth, yuck depression, mouth, meat feet, <laughs> meat feet. Um, so this is actually huge, and, and I was embarrassed my family when I just talked to you yeah. guys. <laughs> you're laughing, but it's, I'm serious. No, it, it, I'm he, serious. You haven't gotten meat feet this year, have you? Not one all time. Right. Good. Oh, it's only March though. So, all right. Let's Let's hope time. it doesn't happen. You know? <laughs> One of the things I did want to mention yeah, uh, that hasn't been said yet is when we when the nurses are deciding where to send people, um, it's always within the network. Okay. So, you know, we're looking for the best price, but also the best quality. The, the nurses, Harlow, actually, the name Harlow was chosen because it's the middle name of Clara Barton, who actually is the woman who started the American Red Cross. Yes. yes. I, yes. Um, a nurse started our company. So we were, you know, shout out to nurses. We're nurses first. Sure. People first, tech after. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And, and now the nurses are on the front lines of your... Uh, oh, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, when you, when you call the, the, the hotline, we've got a, a few different numbers out there. So, uh, you know, if you're associated with the Reduce My Cost program, we've got a number for that. But, um, yeah, you, you call and a uh, nurse picks up. It's not, a, it's not a call system. It's not like a, uh, uh, one of these like, uh, phone, phone trees or anything like that. Yeah. You talk yeah. to a human being. Leave your name and phone number are you, and we right, will call you back. Right. Are you based right out of Manchester here? Or? We're based out of Londonderry. Okay. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the pandemic, it's weird, right? I mean, so many people, this is, this is not novel. But, um, yeah. yeah, we've actually found that we can operate a good chunk of our business with people working from home and doing, doing their work and, their, and right around the rest of their lives. So, 
Uh, we've got some folks that are in the office regularly. We've got some folks that are working from home, and it's uh, it's a pretty cool situation we got going. Yeah, I got, that's a lot of information. It's yeah. a lot of good information. Uh, wow, I, I I learned a lot. I learned a lot. So now, do you guys also? Uh, do you guys help out, like the nurses help out with like the telehealth side of things? Oh, that's another great question, man. Uh, so no, not yet. We're not we're not in the telehealth space. Uh, we at, we have to prioritize because we we got really excited about the idea of what we're going to do and how we're going to grow. And so we got into this idea of, you know, telehealth, primary care, um, again, outside of our scope, but sort of private practice, primary care is becoming a really interesting thing to watch. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You know, and uh, it's, a, it's a thing that's got us very interested. But no, we haven't gotten into that space yet, you know. Yeah, it's funny how it changed because I even think about my early <clears throat> days of uh, – uh, going to a, you know, not a pediatrician, a regular doctor, but even like 18, 19 going into here and gone are the days are the, the doctor was there in his office. There's one secretary, his secretary that he's had for 30 years is, <laughs> is there. And they, uh, it, it's just, you know, now you got these big conglomerate offices oh, yeah. and you're even, yeah. sometimes, you know, you're like, well, uh, you know, your doctor's not in today. Well, I thought I was here to see my doctor. You know, when you have those kind of things where you have five or six doctors. Right. Physician's assistant, registered right. nurse. Right. I mean, yeah, you, or nurse practitioners. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, feel like I like to interact with my doctor. That's uh, actually, you know. that, that's really it. I mean, I think when we, we look at the fact that there's so much data that's out there now. Last summer, Jason mentioned it, but last summer uh, it was by a federal mandate. Every every carrier, every payer in the country had to release their, their pricing mm -hmm. for everything. But they did it in these, like, large, huge terabyte-sized files. Mm -hmm. And, like, only people with, like, the right resources can process all <laughs> right. that junk, right? So that's where we come in. Um, and so we're trying to create the translation from all that nonsense right down to that human relationship, right, to the people that are going to do something with right. at the end of that's the day. That's what it's all about, yeah. relationships. Well, it is. It's very important because I know even me, like I said, I, you know, I have so many doctors. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they're like, I like them all mm -hmm. makes it so much easier because <laughs> you're not arguing. You're not worried about what's going to happen. I think yeah, right. this tool yeah. that you guys are offering takes a lot of that hassle out of it for people. Yes. It takes a lot of that, you know, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to afford this? Gonna pay How? For this? Right. Yeah. You right. know, and instead it's like, oh. so my, my wife yes. is a, my wife's a teacher, uh, sort of in the Monadnock region and the. The biggest hassle for her they've got obviously as a teacher they've got a really great health plan but you know so even if you have a great health plan imagine trying to get scheduled to do something when the entirety of your day is chewed up in school right. and you, mm -hmm. you're, you know your schedule is the way that sure. it is um that's another thing that we help with right so even even just the scheduling part of it even just making it work you it's it used to be called concierge medicine we're trying to get away from that terminology but but honestly that's what it is you know you call us even if you're not going to save any money, you're already going to a low cost provider. We'll yeah. just take care of it for you. Like that's that's what we do. You know, that's awesome. That's really great. I hope I'm glad you guys came in. I, uh, is there anything else you wanted to get out there, Jason? Uh, <laughs> uh, nope, just uh, HarlowHealth.com. HarlowHealth.com. Um, Tell your friends. <laughs> yeah, H A R L O W E Health H E A L L E L T H dot com. It's early, bud. I haven't had my yeah. coffee yet. I really I wanted to bring in breakfast. It, no really, one me. it really is a, a great thing, though. I, uh, I, I really I hope we helped you get uh, the word out. I don't think a lot of people knew. Uh, yeah, no, thank uh, you very much. Yeah. And, and I hope you continue to uh, get the word out, and you guys are welcome back uh, at any time. Yeah, we'll take up on that offer, man. You Absolutely. Know, <laughs> it is. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, all right, we are going to move on. But are you guys, uh, like I said, is there anything you need to... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I just I hope people uh, understand that there's a uh, means of help out there, and um, we're growing, and we're looking forward to hearing from other companies and hopefully employer groups. Maybe yeah, when you grow and then you hire more people, and everyone's you know, and it just it, it's a, a, a we've never got a, ending cycle that uh, just continues. We got a big mission. Yep, and I think I think that's great. It's uh, it's good. So we will uh, we will see you then soon. Absolutely, sounds uh, great, fellas. All right, we all right. will uh, be right awesome. back.